What is going on everyone, Art at Grimspeed, and I'm standing in front of some exciting but not entirely unexpected new products from Grimspeed. These are the Grimspeed Bypass Valves, both for the EJ and the FA engine. We're gonna talk all about them, we're gonna cover what the OEM versions do, where they suffer, and how we've improved on them, and then we're gonna show you the WRX and the STI behind me, how they install, and why you want these bypass valves above all the other ones out in the market. So before we get into what makes the all new Grimspeed bypass valve so great, let's talk about the not so great OEM versions. This is the FA style and this is the EJ. They really do the same job, so we'll just focus on this unit here. Really the job of the bypass valve is to alleviate boost pressure that's going through your intake track. So once your turbocharger starts building boost pressure, it's going through your piping, through your intercooler, it hits the throttle body when it's closed and that pressure has nowhere to go. So the internal spring and piston of a bypass valve open up and alleviate that pressure. The problem is the OEM units are relatively cheaply made and so you have internal leaking, you also have inconsistent boost pressures. We found through testing that on the EJ at around 19 pounds, a lot of the OEM ones tend to leak. On the FA at around eight to 10 pounds, a lot of those tend to leak. So a nice aftermarket unit, and I stress nice because there are a lot of cheap brands out there. So you really wanna go with something reputable, name brand and something that's been tested just like these all new Grimspeed bypass valve units, they're an absolute must. So let's take a look, we'll throw the OEM ones away and replace them with something a heck of a lot better for your car. So as you can see, I've got all of the new bypass valves laid out by Fitment. We've got the pair of 15 plus WRX, we've got the 08 to 14 WRX and 05 to 09 LGT, and then the 04 plus STI, as well as other EJ engines, depending on the intercooler that you're using. We've pretty much covered all of the popular Subaru models, so we expect these to be a big hit in the enthusiast community, but really the individual bits and pieces of this design are what make it a great unit. First of all, it's 6061 aluminum, which makes it relatively light weight but very very strong and that's key for something that's seeing a lot of boost pressure we've got it anodized all the way around both in red and black versions the same anodized that we use for our other parts and so it's going to match all the grim speed stuff you already have we've got the nice grim speed badge logo on top in this recessed machine portion of it and a swivel fitting for the air hose right there now the most standout feature is one that you don't actually see very well, which is that internal design as I mentioned before. Now I happen to have the 360 brass material piston right here, along with the spring that goes on top, and that's really what makes this into a well-functioning unit. That along with the internal O-ring, right there and then the o-ring that seals to the flange of the intercooler make sure there's none of those leaks that i was talking about with the oem and then some of the other aftermarket valves that we noticed so with the two bypass valves in the center, I mentioned those are the 08 to 14 WRX and 05 to 09 LGT versions. They're largely the same as the EJ, but they do have a different base plate and this outlet portion that's required for installation. So we'll kind of breeze over that because the materials, the functionality, everything's the same on that. Now it is also largely the same on the FA version, but it is, as you can see, a totally different style of bypass valves, same functionality, but the fitment is totally different. So what we're gonna do is showcase it on this Grim Speed inlet with the Grim speed boost controller right behind me on our 2020 WRX. So since this video is out, it also means there's an install guide for the FA style bypass valve on our website. So go check it out if you're installing it. What I wanted to do right now is to show you generally in the car where it goes. You know on the EJ engine, like the one below me here, it's right up top, pretty easy install. But on the FA, it's a little more hidden. It's in this area here, next to the intake and the inlet, kind of tucked up in there. So what we've done is we've gathered all the grim speed versions of these parts, including the new bypass valve and I've got it laid out here on the table to show you guys exactly how it all comes together. So what I've got in front of me here is the same layout you saw in the WRX up there, but it looks a lot better and it performs a lot better and that's because it's comprised entirely of upgraded Grimspeed products. So up here you have the intake heat shield, the filter, the tube, and that connects to the all new Grimspeed inlet. We've got the tried and true three port boost controller, the charge pipe up here, which normally connects to a top mount intercooler. We would have a turbocharger here and that's where this version two Grimspeed J pipe connects with a cat back out the back of the car. Now the only component that we were missing in all this is the bypass valve and now we've got it covered right there. Now the beauty of all of this is these items were made to function specifically with each other. So they sort of optimize 
the functionality of not only the entire setup, but the items next to it. And so from the air that you're intaking, the turbocharger compressing that air, going through the intercooler, going out the exhaust, you know that all of these components are doing their job and they're designed to do that job together. The bypass valve is just the last piece of that puzzle. So now that you're familiar with the layout of the FA engine, I wanted to kind of show you where the boost control fits on the EJ, and we're gonna do a quick install because it's so easy on these. Really, all you have to do is take the new Grimsby bypass valve, you take this outlet portion that's just held on by two screws, put it on there, and then it's a couple of bolts, and make sure to get it on this hose. Pretty easy. And the final step with the swivel fitting, put on your vacuum hose and then putting a zip tie on there is not a bad idea. And that's what it looks like. So there you have it, the all new Grimspeed bypass valves. Now you know how they're built, how they function and how they look inside of these two cars. The last thing to mention is there is actually no tuning required with any of these versions unless you're gonna be running with this inspection port open. In that case, we do recommend it too. Now, since you're watching this video, that means that all of these are available on Grimspeed.com and at your favorite retailers. So you can go ahead and click the link in our description if you wanna pick one of these up and really switch out for the potentially leaking OEM or aftermarket bypass valve that you already have that could be robbing your car of power.